Slot Car News, sponsored by LEB Hobbies, your specialist in home and hobby slot car racing. Hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. That's right. Honk, y'all. We got a fair amount of news for this in between Christmas and New Year's slot car news. I'm going to start off with our small manufacturers, as we like to do when we have the news. Uh, Magnetic Racing showing an absolutely amazing Red Lion pub. Uh, It's like a half building, and um, (laughs) there's some pretty interesting little details inside, too. Some furniture. Uh, yeah, I love this. When does this become a, uh, when does this become a dollhouse and not a slot car scenery? (laughs) In any case, I think it's absolutely incredible. Keep doing the good work, guys. You're doing God's work. All the small manufacturers are. Speaking of another small manufacturer, Area 71, showing two absolutely incredible kits. Uh, an Alpha and a 499 in 130 second scale. Now these will be coming who knows when, but boy, they look like they will be worth waiting for. Look at the detail on these kits. Absolutely staggering. Uh, These guys crank it up every single release that they do. There's something new each time the quality goes up, the level of detail. uh, Absolutely amazing stuff. Good job, guys. Good job. We're going to get to some arrivals now uh this should be for you know most dealers here in north america thunderslot the lolas and the elva have arrived as well as the mustang kits the mustang kits there's a body kit there's glass there's an interior each of these are separate part kits and then there's the entire white kit as a kit so there you go so paint it fill it re-sculpt it as you like enjoy definitely cool stuff really happy to see them uh cranking out new stuff and uh you know we all know the quality especially relating to the speed of these cars who baby they are fast we got a bunch of uh new releases being shown as well fly with a very tasty looking 9083 uh, nurburgring vic elford and uh, i think uh, chris amon um in any case uh, it's a plain white 9083, but uh, this is kind of a classic Ninko classic, or sorry, well, fly classic Ninko. Yeah, oh, I wish Ninko was still around. Um, it's a classic from Fly, and it's good to see them bringing out another one. Uh, it takes me back to those the good old days of the early 2000s. Um, <laughs> a Rally 911, a Marlboro livery on this 911. This, uh, this Porsche, boy, this looks nice with, uh, uh, you know, the red and white, but also the, the uh, heat dispersion kind of uh, duct thing on the wheels. The car looks absolutely incredible. Should be coming fairly soon, I think. Scale Auto showing some work on their Callaway Corvette that they're going to be releasing very soon. Now, here you can see the splits between the Callaway and the C7. The Callaway is a much larger, uh, much more bulky looking car, as you probably know. And it's great to see someone doing the Callaway, the actual, uh, the, the correct body. There's a fair number of liveries on uh, for that body that are correct. But regardless, it's excellent to see Scale Auto really turning it up uh, the end of this year, beginning of next. They are going to be the one to watch for sure next year with what they have coming out oh baby and the, frankly the callaway is one of those cars uh so in any case um hopefully we'll be seeing that uh, fairly soon in 2024 we have uh avant slot with uh them, them showing the i believe it's a camaz or kamaz whatever the red bull uh, truck the rally truck um if you're into rally trucks This truck looks like it makes quite a statement. And finally, your favorite, my favorite, bang, man, missed. Everybody's favorite. There's a pile of them on the floor, by the way. (laughs) Uh, Revo slot with four new liveries of the C5R 
Corvette coming. I, it's, I, it's a great thing. I'm very happy to see them releasing, as I'm sure most of you all are, uh, more liveries of the C5R. It's, uh, it's a great looking car and it's awesome to see them do more GT3 liveries or GT3 cars with liveries. Yes. In any case, uh, stick with me and we'll talk after the racing and show news. Everybody, thanks for sticking with me through the racing and show news, <laughs> the aforementioned racing and show news. Um, I should be able to do a live stream this weekend. Let me think. Yeah. Um, we'll do some driving, put some cars on the track. We'll chat. You know, the usual. We'll hopefully have some fun. Uh, we will, will it be the new year? Yeah, I guess it will be the new year. Whatever, who cares? I don't know. Uh, we'll be we'll be here. You'll be there. We'll be together here and there. See you then. <laughs>